Hey everybody and welcome to part 7 of Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. So I apologize in the last episode if it was like ended abruptly, but my controller had literally malfunctioned and I couldn't get it to work till today. So yeah, here I am finishing off this level. We'll probably do, I'd say, an extra level in this episode just to make up for it. Because I do have a plan for what I want to do in this video. You know, outside of um, just this level. And I'm hoping things work out well. Now, let's see. So these guys, there's nothing up the hill, so you don't have to worry. Oh, there's some gems back there I forgot. Thanks, Spyro. Just hold tight for a second and look out below. Okay, we'll see what you got going for us, man. See what they're doing. Gonna have a sip of my uh, San Pellegrino uh, grapefruit beverage. It's really bitter, but oh, it's refreshing. Oh, you think those guys could have got me out of here without rolling a two-ton snowball onto my head? Here, take this crystal. I traded some hockey tickets for it. Ha! <laughs> so he gave up the hockey tickets for the crystal. Oh, it sucks to be them. There we go. The Crystal of Crystal Glacier. Which is actually funny because it's like, now everything's probably gonna melt that we took the crystal. We go, oh no, everything's coming to a massive meltdown. And then it's gonna be the end of the world. And the world's gonna flood and we're all gonna die. Whoa! Hey, buddy. It's weird seeing those wizards not near, a, you know, a, a free school dude. Okay, also, turning off the game does not cause you to reset your lives like Mario games do. Now, I think my biggest complaint was Mario Galaxy with that, because lives weren't super easy to get. Like, they were somewhat decent to get, but they weren't, like, crazy easy. Anyways, we got some money here to collect. Now, this is one of the orb challenges here. See that kitty? We have to follow it. I forget what his name is. But I'm pretty sure it has a name. It's like a simple name or something like that. So now for this challenge, what you want to do is you want to come up onto this giant dinosaur skull and follow him. Now the stupid thing is, is he does go back to where you found him. And what you want to do is you want to flame him. Well, fl not flame him, flame the fish. Also, how is the fish alive? We just torched it. And now we have to go back, so it's kind of like a loop to do. Also, I like the uh, cave drawings on the walls. They really did add detail to these games as time went on. Also, the music here is pretty chill. No pun intended, actually the pun was fully intended. Now we have one more fish to feed him, right here. And there we go. So it's kind of like that idol level, but with a kitty that isn't picky with the fish. So now he'll sit and you just casually stroll. Not run, casually stroll. Because if you run, you can actually lose him. You just want to walk with him. I think his name's like Bob or something like that. It's like something really just simple. I'll just escort this kitty to this caveman over here. And that'll be the mission. There we go. You found George. I'm so glad he's safe. I'll be sure to pay more attention to him from now on. All I have with me is this round shiny thing I caught while I was fishing. You can have it if you like. Okay, so it was George. I think it's actually supposed to be a reference to the Looney Tunes. Man, that's old school, man. Like crazy. Now all we have to do is find the rest of the orbs and get the... Well, get the last orb and the rest of the gems. I said that in reverse order for some reason. But the final orb will be down here. Now, ignore these little enemies. They don't actually hurt you. But we want to grab all the gems because the orb will kind of send us off track if we do it, you know, first. And then, I don't know. I get preoccupied by gems when I see them. Remember, I have like OCD when it comes to Spyro games. The only time where I ever seem to have OCD, you know, so I almost killed him, which wouldn't have mattered, but he probably would respawn 
by the time I actually have to do the challenge. Of the oh man. I forgot some gems. Great. I was hoping that wouldn't happen in this episode, but nothing we can do about it. We'll just do the challenge. Now what this challenge requires us to do is we need to kill so many enemies, and now we gotta go and torch all of these spiders. I forget what they're called, spider mites or something like that. And you wanna be quick about it, because if you're not quick, they'll start to respawn. Though normally they respawn in the order that you torch them, so you know you only have to go so far to get them. We still have 10 left? Man, there's so many of these guys. I don't remember there being this many. Man. Yeah, see? And then they start to respawn back this way. And there's only one left, so we should be able to do it. And we did it! You have saved us all from a grisly fate. Please, accept this orb as a small token of our thanks. A grisly fate. I wonder what they would have did, like, suck the juices from your body or something? Now we gotta go up on that whirlwind. I apologize if you guys can hear that vehicle squeaking. We have a neighbor that has, like, a really squeaky vehicle. Also, it says I'm missing gems here, but I'm like... Oh, not this one, but this one. And there we go. Relatively close together, so anyways, we beat that level. So let's see what the cutscene is and be on our way out. Five gems only because I had to quit, you know, partially through. Because controller, yay. But, anyways, we beat that level. Eh, I had to do it in two parts, but sure. Anyways, let's go up here and take on the speedway. Then, after that, we'll, depending on how much time we have, we'll go and do a different level. Because, you know, all depends. Also, my cats are fighting, so I hope they don't start to get too noisy. Also, the music here is really good. I thoroughly enjoy it. Also, I've been having some chest pain, probably because of my lack of exercise lately. I should probably get on that. You know it's not healthy when... Bungee jump us! I'll have to come back for you, bungees. This one is a little more of a messy, I guess, uh speedway than others, like it's a little less organized, but I still think it's a good one. There we go, we got all the pigeons, and we got all the uh, suicidal jumpers, and it slows right down when we go up there. So this part now we can supercharge. Now for this, what you want to do is you want to flame all these slow guys. They only give you one though. I think because it's because they're so close together. Generally, the closer something is together, the uh, the uh, lower the uh, points are. See, these are worth two. In the first level, they were worth, not first level. I'm thinking of like the uh, first speedway all together in Spyro history. That one had them all together, so or all separated, so they were worth three. Now we have to find Hunter, which I know exactly- well, not Hunter, but that guy who gives us the Hunter mission. And it's right here. The Mayor. We've been having a crime problem here in Metro Speedway, but I think you might be able to help. A band of cat burglars have been raiding my re-election funds by scaling the walls of the buildings. Would you be willing to help get rid of them? Ah, uh, sure, why not? Great! The Hunter has been able to knock the scoundrels off of the buildings. But we need you to catch the loot before it lands in the canal and is lost. The hunter is waiting for you outside. Good luck. The hunter. Difficulty of five. Ah, uh, I'd say this one probably a three or a four, not a five. Uh, and only for like one of these bags they have to collect. You only have to collect twelve of them anyway. It's not like it's like woo. Thank you for the loot. 
I want all of the loot, you scoundrels. I love how they're actual cats, though. Actually, they kind of look more like raccoons than they do cats. Zapacosta. Now, I think we're getting close. Ooh. I thought we were in a different part, so I'm like, yeah, we're at the difficult part. Oh, I clipped it with my wing. Thank you, wing. I think it's this part right here that's the difficult part. Because it's so low and you have like one chance. Well done. You really taught those crooks a lesson. Well, thank you. You didn't say they were giving me an orb, but okay. I'll take it. And that's the secret orb. Now we can just leave because we got everything. Another 400 gems. We would have had so much more money if money bags didn't keep taking it all. Now I wonder, did we do all the levels in order? I know Speedway's always last, but... Oh, Metro Speedway is considered last. Like, in the entire zone. Which is funny because it's out here. And I thought it would be, a, like, under... Well, above... Icy Speedway, but okay, well, do this level next. Legend has it that there is a portal to Zephyr here. And legend also has it that I know how to activate it. Furthermore, as I recall, the legend mentioned something about me activating it for uh, a small fee. Oh, of course. 400 gems. Yay. Thanks for the gems, Spyro. With all this cash, I can open a lizard burger shop in Skilo's Badlands. Yeah, see, it's Skilo's Badlands. That's actually where they say it. Um, now, if anything is, Zephyr just means gentle breeze, but it will make sense in a way when you guys actually see the cutscene, so I'll leave you to your own devices and to watch this cutscene. So yeah, those birds. Those birds are what I'm getting at. Anyways, big worm. Okay, Spyro. Looks like we got us a bit of a situation here. The breeze builders have got us pinned down, and we've been waiting for a volunteer to blow up their munitions building. Looks like you're it. Yeah, sure, why not? But first of all, I want to check the guidebook. So yeah, I'm pretty sure it goes breeze harbor then Zephyr. Because, you know, it's like the retaliation of, of each other. Because these two levels, like uh, uh, Skeelos Badlands, are actual sequels to each other. They share a very, very similar storyline. You know, for those ones were cavemen. This one's the birds versus worms. And this is the birds base. No, sorry, this is the worms base. The other one's the birds base. I don't know why I thought that. Breeze Harbor. Also, you can't deflect these cannonballs. So watch out for them. So caterpillars are your fodder. Delicious, nutritious, disgusting caterpillars. Did I go down here yet? Why did I think I didn't go down there? Like, I, I remember going there. Now, if you're in the right spot, these birds will actually attack you. I don't think we are, but... We can't kill them this way, though. I... Think you need the supercharge, or not a supercharge, but it's like the super power up. I am like pretty sure we need that. Whoa, yeah. See, the birds will swoop down here and drop the bombs if you're in range. So you have nothing to feed you. And if you have nothing to feed them, they will slap you, and they'll slap you silly. And once again, guys, there's 400 gems. This is like the only game where gem totals don't really change throughout the game. Anyways, what's this guy doing on the cannon? Dang cannon just ain't working for me. You think you can blast that bird, soldier? Jump up here and give it a try. Yeah, sure, why not? Now, for this, you just use the D-pad to go up and down and choose your uh, height, and then press the circle button to fire. You have infinite shots. They're just, you know, they have a delay between shots, so just take your time. No big hurry. Unless you're trying to beat this game before your parents come home or tell you to go to bed or something, then yeah. Or before you go to school or something like that, or work. And you're like, no, I must beat this level, but why did I start it? I've done that before where I get too involved in something and I'm like, wait a minute, no, I gotta get going, what am I doing? 
and you have no idea why you continue to do that, even though you knew that you had previous engagements that you must attend to. Yeah, you know, us humans can be silly. Pretty sure a gem falls down here. Yeah, I knew it. That one used to elude me as a child, but now I never miss it. Anyways... Oh yeah, remember those guys at the end of Spyro? Like the first game? Yeah, they're back, but as birds. Literally, it's the exact same enemy. Just not in Nork form. Also, really early on in the game. Well, I guess that's in like the, I guess, the beginning second beginning of the second half I'm I guess oh, man seriously but like it's a crazy difficult enemy for not being in the final world and you'll see that a lot of the final world enemies actually aren't that difficult is this the part that oh you know I'm like is this the part that randomly has those birds it's not though thank you now let's blow open this and open this. You can actually kill this bird with the cannon if you really wanted to, but there's no need. He's not that hard to hit. Also, those don't explode if you touch them. They will crush you, though. Like they kind of did in the other game. Also, there's some fallout. Man, this is the most we've taken damage from enemies. Also, there's some... There's a life and some full health right there. Now, yes, I get that there's stuff underneath us, but I'm going this way first to investigate. Man, we're getting some good money here. Yeah, you can also flame it to, you know, stop it before it gets to you. If you really need that as an option. Alright, looks like we got some birds over there we can deal with as well. Let's hit this. Oh, we actually hit it. I didn't think I did. Well, this is kind of annoying because you gotta like loop around once you get it. Not entirely sure why they have an obsession with doing that in this game, but they do. Also, I forgot to blow open the door. I don't know what I'm thinking about. Anyways, let's go blow open this door. Whoa. Controller there. Calm down, buddy. Perfect. And oh my god, there's a lot of TNT. Well, he's dead. Or not, he's alive. I'm pretty sure these birds attack right away, right? Yeah. You just have to stand here. And there we go! Hey, Mr. Big Chubberton the Worm. What do you got for me, buddy? Wow! What an explosion! It sure is a good thing I had my helmet on. Oh, yeah. Uh, the Colonel wanted me to give this talisman to you if you got through the Breeze Builder defenses. Good job, soldier! Yeah, see, Breeze Builder. Breeze Builder, Breeze Builder Harbor, you know? Well, Breeze Harbor. And there's the Zephyr one. You'd think it'd be like something with wind, but it's a bomb. Apparently the worms like explosions. But anyways, let's fall down here. Whoa. My name is Little Bo Peep, and I have lost my cowlicks. With these battles going on all the time, they keep running away. Can you help me get them back into my pen? I like this Little Bo Peep. Kind of sounds like a, a Mexican Bo Peep, though. I say Mexican because yes, I get that I could call him Spanish, but I mean, they don't sound like they're from Spain. It sounds like he's from Mexico. Like that type of Spanish. I guess I don't need to prove- I don't need to explain myself every time, but... You know, better... You know, better... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I think it's better to explain myself, you know, just in case. What light from yonder window breaks? That window up there, dummy. The professor said he was working on a way to help me get back with Juliet, but I haven't seen him in a long time. Hmm, Juliet, find the professor. Oh, boys and girls, we got ourselves a forbidden romance. Ooh, a worm and a bird. They can never be together. Man, that actually bring, like, brings up a memory from when I was in high school. I literally played the main male role in every Shakespearean play that we did. 
because no one else would want to read. And apparently I was also like really advanced when it came to reading and understanding Shakespeare, so I was like always their top pick. I always thank my teachers for that. Now for these Calyx, you just have to lure them, or like not lure them, bring them all the way back to the pen. Oh god darn it, we're gonna have to do it again. I hate these Galax so much. They're kind of the. They're also worth two of the four orbs here. They're not really that entertaining to deal with, though. Like, I get that it's an interesting concept, but it's probably one of the more boring concepts of the entire game. Though I do like the design. And they're pronounced Cowlick, even though they're spelled Cowlek. Like, Cow and then L E K. I love how, like, we think they're gonna say sheep, but then he says, she, it? I don't know. Bo Peep says cowlick, and it's like, oh. Surprise, that's not what I thought it was. Now there's another cowlick up here with the professor, so we'll grab this one first. Mr. Cowlick, please. Planning it does not send it as far as charging it does. Kind of self-explanatory on that. You either burn its butt temporarily, or you send it flying with your powerful horns. Ugh, get out of here. Get up there, man. I'm like, if you don't make that, that's your own fault for being too fat, man. Dude, what are you doing way down here? I sent you further up this pathway for a reason, bro. You freaking fat cow things. I think he just stays there like, you can't get across, solar. Go. Go. Go! The annoying part is bringing them all back. Because guess what? There's another one right there. Dude! Also, camera angle. Please. Please work with me on this one. There we go. Getting all these Calyx going, man. Herd of Calyx! Don't you dare fall over that ledge and make me have to get you all the way back up. Oh, look, there's another one, too. Oh yeah, also you need the, the ladder ability to actually be able to complete this level. So hopefully you did that before coming in here. So like hopefully you collect enough money. Because when I first played this game as a young child, I didn't have enough money for half the abilities. So then when I went to go and do stuff, it's like, oh, well, where do I get the money? Oh, wait, I didn't actually complete any of these levels. Or even knew how to backtrack. It made me actually seem really dumb as a kid, because the funny thing is, is as a kid, I was, like, really smart. I got top-of-the-line grades, I was in, like, the highest curriculum of, of all time. But for a long time, I didn't even know what Wi-Fi was, because we didn't have it in our household until I was in grade 10. And I was amazed in grade 10 that, I'm like, wait, they have wireless internet? And, like, the thing is, is, like, I'm smart, but then certain things were just like, well, why didn't I ever know about this? Am I really that dumb? Apparently I was. Well, my parents didn't really have a lot of stuff growing up. Like, it took forever to get that. Like, I didn't have my own music player until I think I was, like, grade 7. My dad got me a cheap one when he was in Dubai, but had, like, thousands of songs on it. Because, you know, out there, pirating was fine. You can't arrest you out there for something in America. American music, you know? So that's a little life story. Thanks, Spyro. Here's a little something, you know, for the effort. Man, I don't know why you pause between words so much. There are two more cowlicks out there somewhere, but I haven't seen them in days. Well, we'll figure it out. It's only a difficulty of three because, well, it literally poses no threat to you. So where are, the, where are these bumpers? Oh, oh, I think he blew himself up that time. Okay, it just hit me twice. I'm cool with that. Also, you can see the mis the mystery vase up there again. Phase vase. To 
tomato, tomato. Actually, I'm pretty sure vase and vase are the same word. It is kind of like tomato, tomato, potato, potato, you know? Like, it does have multiple pronunciations, though. You know. Now, for this, you actually need the super fire breath to get them up, because it sends them even higher. Okay, this is up by the place going towards the end. Also, we need to use this to blast this, and I believe this gives us a lot of the rest of the gems. Yeah, because there's a 25 in there. Whoa, they both went up. Totally wasn't expecting that. Also, using the side jump here is, like, near mandatory. If not mandatory. Did she get up there yet? Okay, good. I don't know if we need the super fire breath now, but... Okay, no we don't. It just sends them flying so much faster, like, look at that! That is insane! It's actually more used for height than distance, though. Goodbye! Darn it. Did I get all the gems in this little area or not? Yeah, where's the highest point? Oh, up there. Because I don't remember grabbing the purple, but I think I might have. Yeah. Yeah, okay, we did grab them all. Yeah, see, I was going to do this level in Breeze Harbor, but apparently just the end of the last episode, the speedway, and then this are as long as it is. Okay, I'm like, did that cow look, like literally just teeter on the edge and then fall out? That would have been just sad. Here we go. Well, I am impressed. You got all seven cowlicks for me. Here's a fair reward. And another orb. Thank you. And the other two are just with the professor. Maybe there's like 50 orbs in this game. Maybe like 60. I thought it was 80, but maybe that's too much. Wait, we don't need to go up here. Meh, might as well flame the vase, I guess. Now it's all the way back near that guy at the cannon. Now if you're wondering, no, I don't have a photographic memory. I actually have a really bad uh, memory. Okay, I want that gem. And I know you can get that uh, seed without actually using one of the other seeds, but... Let's see if I can cheese it. Ah, no, I'm not going to cheese it. I don't really actually need that, though. But I bet you there will be an achievement in the uh, Reignited Trilogy that will require something like that. But anyways, let's go talk to the professor. Spyro, my boy, I've got a magic bean, uh, I mean seed, for you in here somewhere. Uh, here it is. Why don't you plant it in the ground and see what grows? Aiming the seed by holding down the triangle. Okay, no. We, we already got that. We know that from the uh, lizard part in, the, in Glimmer. They actually use this to go and get multiple seeds. So you want to use this to go back down here and grab this seed. So all you have to do is either aim, or if you know you're going to hit the dirt, hit the dirt with the seed. And then you grab it. And if you want it to come back out of the dirt, then you just flame it again. You can use this one. Just quickly bring it back. Put it up there. It'll stay wherever you put it until you save the game and turn it off. Or just turn the game off in general, it doesn't matter if you save it. Progress just won't be saved then. Man, I didn't realize how long these levels were in Spyro 2. Like, there's not really that many more levels than Spyro the Dragon, if actually less. But, they're... I guess just longer. So we need that one, and we need this one. Right. So we'll actually have to aim at this one. And then we just do this. And we get the third seed, and then we can just go up top. Now, and now we get one random seed here. Oh, looks like we got. Are the, aren't those like the two last enemies? They are. And we just aim that down here. Like, if you fail, you can go down there and grab it, because literally it doesn't matter if you're up here or not, it just makes it more convenient. 
You know, just to get 100% on literally everything. Dead. Now, funny thing is, this is kind of like the glide challenge, but there is an orb for getting th through a lot of this, and then there's an orb for doing, I think, like two more like little puzzles. Not even puzzles, they're just do this. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Well done, my boy! Here are two more seeds to get you the rest of the way. Though, eh. We don't need to hear it. I, I accidentally clicked X. I was gonna listen to him, but then I accidentally clicked it, so. The funny thing is, is you actually want to bring the seed. Alright. I was gonna say up there, but. Eh. I failed. Can you actually get up the darn step? Also, who the heck designed these places? Like, who in their right mind actually lives in these places? Oh, I don't think I can actually do that. I gotta do it the long way, really? Oh, I actually, never mind, I actually have to plant it. It's one of those ones that I actually have to plant them. Anyway, no, I just glide up here. Why the heck did I think I couldn't get there from here? Doi. I can plant it after I jump over. Dude, I knew how to do this. It's just I was trying to cheese it quicker than I normally do. Whoa. I thought that didn't land in it for a second. And no, Spyro will not swallow things. Not like Yoshi after a while. And see what I mean? Like, this is literally the second orb right here. This is all you had to do. There wasn't an enemy. There wasn't a puzzle or anything. Romeo! Romeo! Wherefore art thou, Romeo? Oh, there's Romeo. You can have this. I don't need it anymore. Oh my god, that is the manliest, nastiest sounding bird girl ever. Dude, I think the bird you're getting with is a dude. Do you know that? I hope he does. I really hope he does. If not, then I feel sorry for him. Oh yeah, look at him make out over there. She just kicked him! Now she's screaming in his face. Goodness, this though is like literally, it's just a quick pathway over here. Now, all we have to do is go and get that vase puzzle or like little challenge done, and we have all the gems. Now, honestly, I do love the design in this world, even though it's the most simplistic background, most simplistic level. Oh, life 26. But something about it is just really, really nice. And see, there it is by the guy with the cannon. I'm pretty sure the next one's at the end. This is a really short one. I don't know, I guess because there was a lot to do in the level, they're like, you know what, no, we'll make it really short for you. Hey, a rainbow. There's nothing at the end of the rainbow, I don't see a pot of gold game. Thanks a lot. Oh, that's actually a lot of money. And there we go, Zephyr is complete. Another level done. That bird got bigger eyes when it blew up. And once again, we're 2,500. I wonder how long we can keep that going. <laughs> but anyways, in the next episode, what we will be doing is we will be going to the level Breeze Harbor to continue our bird stories. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys all next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.